hello and welcome back to my channel i am tiff and today i did a thing um i have another pen to show you guys and i'm so excited about it i have seen this pen online um, as you can see it is a pilot capless aka vanishing point um and this is a japanese exclusive i just, uh, only sold in japan and i just cannot wait to show you guys so let's get into it so it comes packaged like this. This is an outer shell that houses the actual box. Ooh, I'm so excited. And of course, you know I've already opened it. I cannot control myself. Okay, let's open this up. Ta-da! This is the whiskey. It is the 20... 23 limit edition limited edition um i actually just purchased um the 30th anniversary the taiwan 30th anniversary and i can um add a link to that that particular video so there's nothing new about the capless or the vanishing point um but this is just a colorway that you know love me some browns and when i saw this i just i just had to have it so first of all in this special edition you get the pen and you actually get an ink with it as well that doesn't come up so first let's look at the pen this is an ombre and it goes from a deep brown to a light brown and it has gold accents um, gold clip, nothing different about this pen from any other uh, Pilot, Capless, or Vanishing Point, only the color. I just could not get past the color. If you are a brown pen person like me, then this was just a must-have, and I was just so excited that I was able to snack one. And I did get this in an extra fine. I will admit that my preference for... Um, my vanishing points is a fine nib however i didn't want to try the extra fine generally an extra fine for a japanese nib is it's pretty it's fine and can actually be a little toothy um it can actually be a little toothy on the paper let's see yeah there's a picture of the nib and um I don't know. I, I I went ahead and purchased it just because I can always, always replace um, the nib if I need to. But now I'm actually glad that I purchased it. I'm so glad that I got the extra fine because it's, it's really good to have um, the nibs in different sizes. So now I have a fine, a medium, and an extra fine nib for the vanishing points. And it does come with the Yamaguri. Uh, ink by Roshizuku and this particular ink is um, Yamaguri stands for wild chestnut and it is basically hearkening back to um, the the uh, walnut shells that you can find on the um, on the ground in autumn and this is basically that color so we're going to do a uh, writing sample and check this ink out Okay, now I am going to do a writing sample, and this is in my ink journal. My, the cover is a Chic Sparrow in the Odyssey line, and the notebook I'm using is the Hobonichi Techo Day Free. So, I have already inked the pen, and I just, I just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I really just love it, love it, love it. So... Let's come in even closer. All right, let's see. So this is a new pen day. Yeah, this is a very, very fine nib. So it's it's not scratchy. It is still smooth. Um, Depending on the angle that I'm holding the pen, it can feel a little toothy. That I do not have a problem with. So this is the Pilot Capless. 
in whiskey. Um, yeah, they spell it differently. There's no E there. And this has an extra fine nib. Oh, it is still smooth though. Guys, can I just, just take one more minute to look at the pen? Just, just one more minute, that's all. Let's just gaze at this <laughs> again. I just, I need you to appreciate what I'm seeing. Um, it's just lovely. This is the 2023 limited edition again. Okay, now we can carry on. I just had to, I just had to stare at it a little bit more. I apologize. Yeah, it is definitely a smooth writer. I hear a little bit of feedback, um, but I do not have a problem with that at all. Um, because when you, when you get to a really fine nib, it's really hard for it to be as smooth than if it was a fine or a medium. It's going to have a little toothiness sometime. I'm sure that you can find some um, extra fine nibs that are not toothy, but this is not toothy in a bad way. It's not snagging the paper. So I hope toothy is the right word to use. Um, but yeah. It is definitely gliding around along the page. I love it. So that's the writing sample. So let's actually take a look at the ink. So here we have Yamaguri uh, by Roshizuku. And I did find out, I was not aware, maybe other people were, that Eroshizuku is actually the combination of two words. Iro meaning colored and uh, Shizuku uh, means drops or dew. So colored drops or colored dew. So I thought that was really cool to know. And I'm going to be testing with my Kakamori uh, dip pen with the brass nib. This is actually not a bad shade of brown. It is a dark brown. Um, but I will admit, let's go ahead and do a little bit bigger of a swatch. It does have nice coloring. It's actually a nicer color when it's super wet. Once it dries, it does dull down just a little. Oh, that was thick. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so this is on Tomoe River paper. It is a super I don't want to say super dark brown because it's not black. You can definitely tell it's brown. But when it says um, the fact that the color is supposed to be inspired by walnut shells, I absolutely can see that because what walnut shells are actually a little bit of a dullish brown. And I did do a swatch on uh, my wearing wearing gill uh, swatch card. And this ink is supposed to have kind of a purple base, put that in frame, um, with a little bit of a very, very low gold sheen. There's no shimmer. It's supposed to have a little gold sheen that you could see on Tomoe River paper. I honestly don't see any of the gold sheen here. Um, so let me get some act another sheet of Tomoe River paper. I have some right here. This is just loose leaf paper. I'm gonna clean off my nib really quick. And let's test this again. Let's see if I don't get a big glob of it this time. I'm 
Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and um, the swatches in my uh, ink journal, and then we'll come back and look at both of them close up to see if, because I mean, they're both basically the same paper, but compared to um, the swatch card and see how they look once they're dried. Okay, I am back. I think these have pretty much dried now. This is my uh, Hobonichi, and here we have the sample. And I hope I can get this in the right light. I do see the purple undertone and a very, very slight uh, gold sheen around the purple undertone. Um, not sure if you can see that. Sorry about this little glob right here. But let's look at the actual Tamoy River loose leaf paper. Maybe I can angle it, but there we go. There we go. Now you can see it. So the darker areas is actually what looks like a deep purple. It doesn't look like a black, but you can see the gold sheen. Whereas on the swatch card, I guess you can see it a little bit. It doesn't come off as sheen to me. It just kind of looks like a duller brown with a little bit more of the gold or undertone under base. Actually, you know what? Ooh, can you see it? I can see it right there around the top. I hope it shows up for you. Um, but yeah, so those are the swatches. And while I was off camera, while I was waiting for this to dry, I was really wondering, did I use the right word when I said that this pen can be toothy? And so I did a little research and um, that is actually the correct term because sometimes I will get confused in scratchiness versus toothiness versus feedback. And um, a very good resource is the Goulet Pen Company. They posted a video years ago on YouTube, but it is still there, it's still accessible. And um, where Brian from Goulet Pens did an explanation of um, the definition or meaning of feedback scratchy versus toothy. And he basically said, and I do consider him an expert in the field, um, that toothiness and feedback can literally go hand in hand. It's really based on how the nib is ground um, and the angle in which you hold it, especially for a fine or extra fine nib. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the nib. It's not pulling at the paper. It's not, um, it's not tearing the paper at all, where scratchy could be more like a misaligned nib. So when I say toothy, it's just because of the extreme um, fineness of this nib and you know, just like most um, fountain pens there is a sweet spot at the ankle in which you hold it and so this is no different um, so when I say toothy it is not a negative it's not a negative at all but I hope you guys enjoyed this once again I'm so excited um, she's so pretty I almost want to name her I can't figure out what I should name her I know please someone Leave me some suggestions for what I should name her um, because I just feel like she deserves a name. But thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, leave me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.